using this Google form as a tool of assessment for the student and students understanding. Now uh, many a times we are using Google form uh, to create a short quiz for a particular chapter and test or let's say for a particular online test. So what I'm interested today to show you all is actually uh, how can you create or how can you make a quickly Google form like literally 50, 30 or 50 questions, uh, MCQ based question from starting with a uh, uh, word file. So as you can see here, I'm having this particular word file and this particular file contains uh, 30 different questions. So now what I'm interested in is I need to create a Google form that will be acting as a quiz, but I'll be taking this as the source. I'll type nothing on the Google form. So let's see how to do it. First thing you have to do is you have to type all the questions that you want and here as you can see all the questions are already typed. So what you have to keep in mind is first line when you are typing is going to be your question. Then you have to place in enter and type your first option, second option, third option and fourth option. Now in these as you can see A, B, C, D four options are given and the correct option you have to give it as a star mark. Now if you, you have to put this if you are going to automatically grade it using a tool called Flabero. It's very easy, very convenient. I'll show you how to do that. So here questions followed by the options. Then you have to put one, uh, you know, one on one point gap. Once you have placed enter, then you do type the second question. And there also you have to type all the option one below the other A, B, C, D. Now you might think that you don't need the A, B, C, D in the options. Then you can get rid of that. You can do that without that also. So, but main thing you have to keep in mind in the formatting here is you need to type the options one below the other. That is after pressing the enter. And remember after the last one here, there should not be any gap. And when you are placing enter here also, there should not be any uh, space bar. You should not use space bar or you should not have any gap in there. So after you do that, remember if you're having a, a longer questions, for example, let me show you something which I'm having here. Statement based question. Many times you might get statement based question and here you have to make sure that you are putting all the statements in the same paragraph. That means the question is one paragraph, then you are placing all the four options below that. So if you do not do this, there will be a problem. So make sure that you are following this pattern. Now this is my question, this is my format. But you all know that in Google form, when we send the link to the student, we also need the name and we also need their email ID so that we can release the score. We can send the score or feedback at a later point of time. So to do that again, what I'm going to do is you after you type the first question I need is going to be the name of the student. So let me type that and then I'll show you how to get this thing right. So uh, let me type that. So this is the name of the student and this is my question. After that, I need the answer. So I'm going to hit enter. Now after this, I have to leave it completely blank and I'm going to press the second enter. Now here I'm going to put my second question. What I need is, let's say the email ID of the student. You can place your class, you can place roll number, whatever you like, you can do that. But right now I need the email ID of the student. So let me type that also. Okay. And then I need the answer for this. So again, I'm going to hit enter. So now after that, you're going to have a question. See, so now what the Google form will do is it is going to create a question for the name of the student. It is going to create a question for the email ID of the student. And then it is going to create MCQ based question for all of these. Remember automatically we're going to grade it. So let's see from here how to proceed. So to do this, I'm going to save this particular file. So done. And then I'm going to open the Google Drive. So to open Google Drive, you can simply type google.com or you can, you know, there you can, you can log in or you can simply hit here, go to Google Drive, choice is yours. Or you can simply try, dry, uh, type drive.google.com, choice is yours. Whatever you want to do, it, do it, get into Google Drive. Now, once you're here, I want to upload that question, that, uh, you know, file. So I'm going to hit on new, I'm going to upload file, file upload. And I'm going to click on G form and then open it. Okay. So it is going to get uploaded. The file is uploaded. Now let me hit close here and this one I'm going to open. So when you double click, it is going to load that Google, uh, you know, through Google docs, it is going to load that MS word file. 
but uh, for the add-on we're going to use an add-on to create the google form it will not work with ms word so let me again go here file okay remember top left side and i'm going to save as google doc now this option so once i hit that it is going to open another file and it is actually going to save the entire thing as google doc now to start the process here again i have to go to add on and get add on so we are going to use an add on called g format and once the google marketplace is loaded you can search the app g format as you can see just type a little bit and then you get the option so click on this and you get this one okay remember this brown color logo now this one uh, you have to click install and it is going to ask permission to continue so click on continue then you have to select the email id that you have currently logged in so i have selected that then it is going to ask them permission allow that and then it is going to automatically get installed and it is going to give you an notification that yes it has been installed so now click hit done close this one and then go to add on g format now remember when you actually do it for the first time it is not going to ask anything it, you will get this option of generate form but when you do it next time it is going to ask enable form so in that time you have to enable the add on and then you will get this uh, generate the form option so click on that allow it to work and depending on the number of questions this is going to take anywhere between a half a second sorry half a minute to a minute or so so allow it to work and once it is done it is going to give you the links uh, for the editable google form file and also you'll get the live link and response sheet and the form response info so you'll also get an email on your registered email whichever email you're using you'll get an email from gformit uh, team and here let me go to the editable one so let me just uh, right click and open new link so as you can see here the google form is ready now this one how much time did it take once you have the file ready right once you have the file ready and you hit add on in a minute you can create the entire question see the entire question is ready 30 questions i have typed let's say supposedly i have typed in here would have taken me a minimum half an hour to an hour but here within a few seconds i would say or a minute or so i got the entire thing right so name of the student email id everything is done now what i'm left with is simply sharing the link now you can see response is only one now this one is the answer that you have selected whatever options you are given the star mark that one is actually here now this one you're going to use for uh, uh, for gradation so once uh, we are done with this as you can see very easy very easily we are able to do it so once you're done you have to hit here and then you can shorten the link and you can copy it and then send it to the students for the actual appearance of the test now you have all the regular controls here if you want to limit the response collect email id you can have all of these but again as you know that you don't have to because you already have this particular one enabled now another thing keep in mind is make sure that you hit required for the name and also hit required for the email id here so uh, again many of my students use google mail id or gmail so many times they type it wrong so what i will do is i will add a response validation where i can hit text and it should contain at the rate gmail.com many times they type it wrong g m i a l they type it many times i have seen that so you type that so next time when the student is typing anything at other than gmail they will not be allowed to submit the form so this will basically make sure that i can send back the answers i can send back the response to the child after he has uh, given the test so this is how you create a google uh, form from google docs in minutes literally in minutes so once you're done with it we have to wait for the student or wait for the test to get over and then we will basically continue with the next part that is evaluation now you might wonder what happens where the files are created remember all the files that you are talking about is going to be created here and you will be getting actually four files see this is a google, uh, microsoft file and this is the google form that we created or the sorry not the google form this is the google form we created this is the doc file that we created right to start the add on and this is the response of this particular google form so easy ones four files and you can access it at any point of time and that is how you get it done So after you share the link with the student, 
and you get the response as you can see here i have got four response so again what i have done is i have only filled this form these are all my emails and uh, basically uh, randomly i have uh, filled this form so once you get the response you will be coming here and you will get this button actually this green one so here click on that and it is going to open a new form uh, what you call google chief or uh, sorry your google sheet and in the google sheet now you get all the options the first one as you can see the name of the student email id and all the questions are in the first uh, line and after that you get uh, the responses here so from here you get student one two three here the name of the students will actually appear and here you'll get the email id of the students so here uh, all the options that all the uh, options the students uh, have chosen you'll be getting it here so another question is i need to evaluate this and to grade it and i have to send it to the student so to do that again i'll be just doing it in a very easy manner again using add on so i'm going to click on add on and i'll click on get add on remember that again this is a one time uh, process that you have to do so once uh, it is here typically you'll be getting this one by default so it is called flabero so click on that and hit install so let it install and uh, again you have to do the same process of giving the permission hit on the email and you have to allow that right and then once you do that it is going to install and then you have to enable the flowbero okay you'll get again email notification for that also so now again you have to go to uh, flowbero again it is already coming here you can close this one go to add on flowbero and here you get great assignment now if it is uh, you're doing it for the second time or subsequent times you will be getting an option to enable flowbero on the sheet so here because you installed it now it is directly giving you the option of grade assignment so i click on grade assignment and you will see how the 